sir. Now, the valves of the heart, gentlemen, are four. The pulmonary, the tricuspid, the mitral, and the aortic. A number of diseases can detrimentally affect their operation and lead to death. Among them, uh, rheumatic fever, diphtheria, and uh, chronic syphilis. I shall now proceed to the first incision. Thank you. That then is the close of the practical demonstration for today. To conclude with a few words in general, as you have just seen, I demonstrated that this subject died from an aneurysm of the aorta. Typically, there was a great enlargement of the left ventricle. Now, before you all leave, I would request that you file down and make an examination at your leisure. An aneurysm. What's the matter with you? Did she keep you up half the night? The whole night. You want to watch it, you know. This is five nights in a row. What is it you keep going, anyway? It's a wee place, I know. It'll take you some time. It's more fun than your athletes. I heard about his athlete. Are you new to Edinburgh? Aye. I'll take you as well. Complete your education. I told his father I'd look after him. His father could come too. Suffering from an aneurysm of one of the large arteries of the neck. So clear it was, gentlemen, that the veriest tyro could have diagnosed it. And what did our great maestro do, I ask it? He pronounced it no more than a mere abscess and took to it his scalpel. The patient was dead in a few seconds. Good evening, gentlemen. So go down now and take a good look and make sure that never in your lives will you mistake an aneurysm for an abscess or anything else. Come on now, push ahead. I'm not going to examine the cadaver. I've done the hat. You stay, though. Make a few sketches. That always goes down well with the old boy. Hey, I'm talking to you. I've got an appointment at six. With the athlete? Aye, that's right. I'll see if she's got a friend for you, if you like. Oh, no. No, <clears throat> I've got to work tonight. Ah, that's right, Jamie. You be a good wheel, laddie. So long now. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Robert. I reckon it's the typhus he's got. You sure? Didn't I see my own mother die of it? It's in hospital he should be. I'll be telling you, me love. Don't you be calling me love. It's Stephen you're at. What are you talking about? I'm talking about where you've got the bloody money. Look, may the blessed Virgin Mary strike me down by lightning if I'm telling you a lie. We came across the money. And what the hell do you want? It's old Joseph. He's much worse. We all be thinking he's got the typhus. I've got a clean hoose here. Oh, that's a bloody laugh. I don't see you moving. Well, I'm telling you, none of us here are going to stay with him. Either he goes or we go. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. He's, uh, he's not looking too well, eh? Aye. Uh, I think we'd best go and have a look at him, eh? <laughs> no. Where did he get that money? Uh, now, wait a minute. No, no, Tom. Oh, I Tom, want to know where the money Tom, came I'll be having a look at him. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Oh, blessed mother of God, will you Good shut up for a minute? Good shut up. Will you shut up? It's in hospital he should be. Yeah, you're right. He's not looking too good. I'm getting out of here. Oh, calm yourselves down. Oh, where you and, and, and where will you be getting a good bed at this time of night, oh. hey? No, 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 calm yourselves down. Just rest easy. Mr. Burke and I will try and make arrangements to get them into hospitals. Yeah. All right, look on. Oh, well. What do you think, Tom? Our lady's not looking too good. He might well have the typhus. The typhus? Sacred heart of the crucified Jesus, have pity on me. I don't reckon he lived the night through. I'll not be touching him, you know. No, we, we can wrap him in a blanket. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus. Look, listen, look, we've got to get him out of there, or I should be losing all my lodgers. Look, we, we'll take him down to your shed. Look, he'll be dead by the morning. And we'll have the body. I'm not going to be touching him. Oh, come on, come on. It's, it's all right, though. It's all right. No, no, no. We're going to take Joseph to the hospital. Get a blanket. Get a blanket. Come on, Joe. We're, we're taking you to the hospital, Joe. There's a lad. Wait, put it on. <laughs> Open the door for us, Willem. Oh, it's terrible, he's looking. I 
think we'll be taking another body to Dr. Knox's. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I think we best wait here a bit. Let the women think that we've uh, taken them to hospital. You're right there, Tom. Yeah, have you? You got a wee drum. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm having some. Oh, but tell me now, mm -hmm. he wouldn't be owing you any money like the last one. Uh, well, uh, he was fully paid up. Oh, right. You're sure, then? Yeah. There you are, Tom. To Joseph. Ah, the Joseph. saints look down upon him. Look, no, no. Soon may he die. Uh, right. mm -hmm. Oh, it's a cold night tonight. <laughs> Give us a tune on your little pipe. Aye. Ah, I will. You ready? Yeah, sure, sure, just, just like a wake. It's right that we're seeing him off so proper. <laughs> What's so funny? Is it me playing you think is funny, is that it? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm just thinking of, ah, great, good luck. Sure, if it goes on like this, we'll make a fortune out of them lodgers. Well, I don't know about that. But if he don't bloody well die soon, I bleed my will of the cold, I'm telling you. Hey, Tom. Hmm? Yeah. Tom, he's recovering. Huh? I'm telling you. I'm yeah. telling you, he's recovering. He's dying. He's got a long way yet before he meets his maker. Look, you've got to take him to hospital. He's dying, I tell you. And if we take him to hospital, who gets the body? Uh, poor old son, he'll die before we get to the hospital. I've got nothing to do with it. I've got nothing to do with it. He's suffering, I tell you. Now, I reckon it'd be merciful to uh, put him out of his agony. Oh, come on, his... The doctors, they'd be buying dead bodies, not murdered ones. You can't go around slitting his throat. I'm telling you, it's gonna look as if he died naturally. You can't remember, I'm telling you. Jesus! 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 I was wondering if the kind doctor would be thinking of giving us eight pound ten, seeing as this one is a good deal fresher than the last one. It's eight pounds. That's the most we pay in the winter. In the summer, we sometimes go as high as ten. Bodies deteriorate in the heat. Think yourself lucky that you've got ten shillings more because of its freshness. Oh, that's very kind of you, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Have another one? No, no. Oh, come on. This is Saturday. No lectures tomorrow. Well, I'll go go back to my digs and read. I don't know anything about the bloody liver or the pancreas. 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 Anyway, they're going to ask lots of questions on mine. Well, you worry too much, man. I can teach you all you need to know about the liver in five minutes. Give me another dram, William. Oh, hi, Bruce. Can you pay, Mr. Campbell? Can I pay? Isn't my credit good? No more in the slate for you. Oh, for Christ's sake. Landlord's order. Give my friend a drink. All right, sir. All right. Until next week, then. Sure. Cheers. 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 <laughs> well, what are you doing tonight? Ah, well, waiting on Angus McPhee. He's taken us to a new house he's found. Not Madame Thompson's. Aye, you know it, then. Oh, do I know it, man? Ah, if I wasn't so flat broke, I'd come with you. See you tomorrow. Look, he's not coming. Anyway, I went to one of those 